Sanbona Clip 5 na mshande sizo funda mwakiwa wa makana. Sizo funda ngezi pongozo kanye nezi chobelelo. Sizo funda ngezi pongozo kanye nezi chobelelo. Izi pongozo prepositions or prefixes. Izi chobelelo which are suffixes. Izi pongozo prepositions slash or pre prefixes is a jobelelo which are suffixes is pongozo these are prepositions is a pongozo ziba se kalini wa makama no ma zise tenziswa ga pambi kwe bizo Zisetenziswa gapambi kwebizo. Izi pongozo zikombisa ukuti iku upi indo. They demonstrate the position of an object. Sinezi nkobo zezi pongozo we've got types of prefixes. Sibone lo sokala gapambi ili which is in front. Let us all read Nga Pambili. Re repeat yourself, grade 5. Nga Pambili. In English, in front. Nge Muva at the back. Nge Muva at the back. Nga Pakati inside. Nga pa ka ti insight. Nga pa nge outside. Nga pa nge outside. Nga pa nge Nga pa nge which is under. Nga pe zulu Nga pe zulu which is on top or on et eleni et eleni on the side et uze nye pakati nenda wo in between pakati nenda wo in between Grade 5, as you can see, nice pictures which are appearing over here. You can, the first picture, you see a cat on top of the house. The cat is on top of the house. Ikati lipezu kwenlu. Ikati lipezu kwenlu. The cat is on top of the house. Below that picture, there is another house. Then you see a, a, a cat on the side of the house. On the side of the house. Ikati liseteleni kwenlu. Ikati liseteleni kwenlu. You can see the cat on the side of the house. On your right hand side, right on top, there is a picture of a cat under a table. Ikati li gapanti kwe tafula. Ikati li gapanti kwe tafula. The bottom picture is showing us a cat inside the box. Ikati li pakati e bokisini. Ikati li pakati e bokisini. Let us start from the from the top picture where the the cat is on top of the of the house. Now we are saying it in Zulu. All pictures will be said in its Zulu. Ikati li pezu kwenlu. Let us repeat. Ikati lipezu kwenlu. 
the bottom picture ikati liseceleni kwendlu ikati liseceleni kwendlu the picture on your right hand side the top one ikati lingaphansi kwetafula ikati lingaphansi kwetafula the bottom picture ikati liphakathi ebhokisini ikati liphakathi ebhokisini you must keep on repeating this grade five up until you master it Grade 5, basically, they are covered by the funda, these jobelles, which are suffixes. The sugenega tattoo is the jobelles. The sugenega tattoo corner is in the piece of corner, is the coolies of corner, ubulili, besifazan. What as what is a suffix? A suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word which makes a new word. Let me repeat myself. A suffix is a letter or group of letters added at the end of a word which makes a new word. As you can see over there, there is Ipodwe, then Ipojuana. Now you can see there are some highlighted words at the end of each word, which shows that the, word, the, the noun, or, or the proper, the or original noun on your left hand side, and a single piece on your right hand side that makes a a new word. Right. When we come to a single piece of, we've got a single piece of sendelelo when you are teasing someone. And a single piece of cigar size when you're referring to the size of an object. Then another single piece of when you you are talking about gender, a male gender, referring to a male gender. As for then it is monello, e we're talking about a pot. If it's a small pot, you say e we say Ipo Juana. Every time if a noun ends with a D or the D towards the end, the D changes to a, a J. You can see over there, Ipo D, D. There is a D there towards the end and it changes to a, a J. Ikanda. So before we go to Ikanda, Ipo Dwe, we is a pot then when you say ipojuana you are referring to a small object a small pot then ikanda is a head then when you say ikanjana that means you are teasing that particular person that that particular person got a small mind or the small head maybe something Something is not good coming from the, his or her brain. That means you are teasing that person. Isisu is a stomach and isiswana. Then that means that we have got a small or yes, a small stomach. Inyoni is a bird. If it's a small or little a bird, then you say inyonyana. Why? Because we added a Y, another Y, the second Y on your right hand side. Uh, all nasal sounds, all words that, are, that ends with nasal sounds, which is M and N. The M and the N changes to a Y. Inyonya. Now we, we added we add Y. Inyonya. So we have got a new weight. Inkosi is a king. Now Ubuli Libesilisa, that is a male gender. So Inkosi is having a, a son which is Inkosana. 
and Indoda is also having a son which is called Indodana. Right. So the Lufu grade five is in your piece, so what is in your piece on journey on your own? It we do have in our booklets. Se kubere ya senze, isi jobelelo, se si kuli iso. Isi jobelelo, se si kuli iso, se jenzi suage, ukukulisa ito. When you make something big, or when you are exaggerating. Utisha, that is a simbonelo, utisha, utisha kaz. Oh, if you're talking about utisha kaz, oh, when you're talking big about your teacher, or talking great, about your teacher. Is it called a big school? A book, a big book. Better says Lulela Rebubulini, Besifazani, female gender. Once the word is added with the suffix kazi, it shows that that is a female gender. Let's say do the example. Simonel over there in daughter is having a daughter which is in daughter Kazi. So, this is Kubere again as a Simonel La Payana, a female gender on animals in Como. Then we just talking about an ordinary uh, 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 cow, maybe like a bull. If it's not a bull, it's a, a inkomazi, the cow that gives us milk. Imbuzi and imbuzigazi, a he goat and a she goat. Then we have got inkosikazi and inkosi and inkosikazi. Look at those nice pictures over there in Komazi that gives us milk, the cow that gives us milk, and we've got a daughter there in Dodakazi. <laughs>